friends welcome back to my channel the simply simple life today I'm going to show you guys a recipe that I have made for almost two decades um, this is as old as Jonathan of this go-to recipe and it is the Applebee spinach dip recipe I have tweaked this recipe over the years but I'm going to show you guys the exact recipe as I have it and then I'm gonna um, show you guys how I have um, put my own little touch to it Okay, so the recipe calls for frozen spinach. I always use the organic uh, Trader Joe's if I can. Recipe calls for 10 ounce, but um, actually this one is 16 ounce and it's, it's fine. I like a little bit more spinach in mine. So I have uh, thawed this out and then what I'm going to do is just um, drain it with a paper towel, squeeze out um, the excess water. Otherwise, I have um, noticed that if I don't squeeze out the excess water, my um, my dip does become a little bit more runny. Okay, and then it's going to call for uh, 14 ounce cans of artichoke uh, hearts, drain and roughly chop. I do use uh, this one from Trader Joe's. It's the marinated one, so I will drain this, but use the um, the oil, a little bit of the oil. Um, to saute it a little bit just for five minutes and this is not part of the recipe this is something that I um, have done on my own that's my little tweak but I'll use the the eight ounce um, chop it up and then it says one cup shredded Parmesan Romano cheese mix I found that this one over at Trader Joe's works as well this is the shredded blend of Parmesan Asiago Fontina and mild provolone cheese so I'll add about a cup to that two cups of uh, shredded mozzarella and then um, 16 ounce of Alfredo um, pasta sauce, the, the garlic but this one from Trader Joe's is uh, Romano and Parmesan cheese so then I also have um, some of this minced garlic um, I will add probably about maybe one to two teaspoon of that onto the pan when I fry it or heat it up for like maybe five minutes like I said and then it calls for um, eight ounce of cream cheese and pepper to taste so let me go ahead and show you guys how I tweak it I love to um, serve this with the Trader Joe's pita chips parmesan garlic and herb and then also um, sourdough bread cut into little small um, slices to put alongside of the, the dish While I'm heating up my pan I wanted to share with you guys if you do not want to use the Alfredo sauce um, you could substitute that with about half a cup of sour cream and then half a cup of mayo and um, put that rather than the Alfredo. That will work as well. Also to note guys, um, once in a while I do add um, yellow and red peppers onto it just for that little pop of color. I didn't realize I did have this in the pantry so I'm just going to go ahead about... I'm just going to go ahead and get about maybe a slice or two of both red and yellow and then just add it in there as I'm sauteing the artichoke and the spinach. Went ahead and added my minced garlic. And just saute that for just a minute just to have the flavors come out. And I added that in there and then I'm going to show you guys why I drained the spinach. It doesn't call for the recipe for it to drain. But there was a lot of water, excess water in there. I'm just going to go ahead and cook this for just a minute or two, just to get it nice and warmed up. And then I'm going to add the Alfredo sauce onto it. That's just heating up for a bit. And the reason that I decided to saute this into a pan like this, the recipe actually calls for it to be put into the crock pot on high for um, maybe about 30 minutes. Um, if I did not saute it, I found it that it, it took longer. It took longer to cook. So sauteing the spinach, getting it um, warm as well as the, um, the artichoke and the peppers and then getting the alfredo sauce warm, it, um, it allows it to, to cook um, a bit before I'm um, putting it into the oven because I choose to um, put it into the oven. When I used to put it into the crock pot, it, it was just too runny for me. This is such an easy dish, friends. Okay, so I went ahead and, and sauteed the, the veggies. I added my, my two cups of mozzarella cheese, my one cup of mixed white cheese, whatever white cheese you have, and then the sour cream. I'm going to mix that together. And then um, also I added a little bit of pepper to flavor. Mix that well and then put it onto my dish. 
All right, friends, I've already prepped it up onto my dish. Look how beautiful it is. I'm going to go do a close-up. Those yellow and red uh, bell peppers that I got from Trader Joe's, marinated, roasted and marinated, it adds a lot of um, pop color onto this dish as well as flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and bake this just for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out of the oven and then sprinkle it with more of this uh, mozzarella cheese on top broil it for about just two minutes so whenever you broil something on the oven it is a very high temperature do not leave the kitchen all right friends here it is broiled it for two minutes and it turned brown really fast so keep an eye on it um, I got my sourdough bread I've got my pita chips you can use tortilla chips our go-to is Juanita's but it's amazing let me go ahead and put some on a little dish just just to show you guys what it looks like adding again adding that extra cheese on top and putting it into the broiler does make a difference and you need to just cook it for just about 15 to 20 minutes because you've already pre-cooked everything I found it um, really sufficient enough I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this oh, look at all that cheese plus the red bell peppers and the yellow peppers mmm Amazing. So good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo, friends.